Hi, Robert Beauchamp for the imaging software. Today we're going to be reviewing how to search for images in the software. Uh, so there's a couple different ways that we can do this. <clears throat> um, and first and foremost, I'll just make you aware that when you're looking for images, there is a magnifying glass that you'll see right here at the top right of the mount window. And when you click on this, uh, you will have a tool that will open up. And the first tab that we're going to be using is the date filter. So it's to choose images either between a certain date. So we can choose images based on dates. So if we wanted to see the images from that date uh, to this date and click the check mark, you will see only the images in that mount from those dates. If you click back on the magnifying glass, it will automatically default to no date filter. If you click the check mark, it'll bring back all of the images into that mount. Okay. Um, when we did, I guess, surveys and talked to offices a little bit about workflow and how things were going uh, and working with the software. Uh, so what we did is we created uh, one mount that basically is the most recent images that you've taken on the patient. So all these images that you're seeing here are the last images that were taken on the patient. And when you see this little plus sign next to the tooth number, it means that you have other images in behind. So on this bite wing here, if I click on it, it will change to a light gray. And if I left mouse click and hold for a second, it will tile out those images that were taken on that tooth. And if you leave your mouse and drag your mouse and drop them on them, it will tell you the time and date those images were taken. And it will be chronologically from oldest to newest, okay? So when you're clicking here at the end, you can go through all of those x-rays right to the last one. So if you wanted to see the last four bite wings of that tooth, you could just double click, double click, double click, double click, and you'll get all the four last bite wings on that tooth up side by side, having a 24 month history. In these uh, boxes, you have an unlimited amount of images. So even if you wanted to have uh, three years, 10 years, 15 years, if you're doing, uh, basically, if you're doing, you know, uh, two, two uh, or an x-ray every six months, so hypothetically in 15 years, you'll have about 30 images in this one box. And if you do tile them out and you click on the arrows, you can go through those uh, and see which, what are the dates and, and get them all up side by side very easily and look really back as far back as you'd like on that specific tooth number. Uh, you can also view the image by, on these arrows, it'll tell you. So this is image, as you see here, if I leave it there, on the arrow, it'll tell me image 20 of 20, which we just saw. There it is. If I click left, it's 19 of 20, uh, 18 of 20, 17, etc. So you can see the image this way also. If you're double clicking any image, it will go up into one of the viewports, the one that is highlighted light gray. Uh, and that's the image I just double clicked. And if I double click again, it will go full screen. And you do still have access to those arrows that will allow you to either advance through the full mouse series to the next tooth number, or you can click on these little arrows, the up and down arrows, which will tell you 17 of 20, as we see right here. And if you click again, 18 of 20, 19 of 20. So you can kind of see all those images also in this viewing format. Uh, anytime you want to go back, you would just double click and you're back to that main screen where all the images are. Um, if you did want to utilize that filtering method, you could also exclude images from any particular dates that you want to choose. And also if you click on the last choice, which is individual dates, you will have for every single date that you've taken an x-ray on this patient, uh, a stamp here that you can choose. So if you wanted to only see the ones from 2006, you can click on that, click the check mark, and only the images that were taken that day, I must have deleted it, um, will be shown. So let's just choose another one. So there's the image that was taken on that date. And 
let's just look at it. if you choose a couple of them. So then those are the images taken on those dates and see we have a plus here. So if I double click, we can see, oh, so here we go. We had the pre and the mid and the post endo showing you uh, the work that was done. Okay, so that's how you could do it and view things in that way. Anytime you'd like to go back to the, the, the complete range of images, you just specify automatically no data defaults there, click on that and you're back to the full spectrum of images. Okay, another way to view images in the patient's file is we do have an image library. Now, when you click on the image library, which is the icon that looks like a drawer full of files, we click on this and you have two libraries. You have a global library and you have a hashtag library. The hashtag library is the patient's individual library. So this is sort of in the background, the database of images that you've taken on a patient. And when you click on this, you'll typically have the number that's associated with the patient with the amount of images taken on them. But these are just randomly placed chronologically. You can organize them by either oldest first, most recent first, any kind of modified images will be also included, uh, ascending or descending if you've named it or if you're using a different way of categorizing. So you can do it alphabetically as well. So this is where you can have access to all the images and see them all. Uh, most people will do them with most recent. So the most recent image that was taken was this one on this date. So this is another way to view the patient's images in their specific patient library. The global library is a library that is independent from every single patient, but accessible in every single patient. And it's really the doctor's library that he will build and he will use to demonstrate uh, treatments. Okay, so this is something separate from the patient's library where you can find images that are stored chronologically.